we're walking through the parking area, approaching the entrance to the Jefferson County Fairgrounds for the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival. This will be, I think, our third time coming to this event. I've got some interesting stuff. And get to see the sheeps. So the, um, what are normally the exhibition barns during the county fair for the Sheep and Wool Festival are the, um, sales areas. And there's all kinds of stuff for sale here. Our own tea. Alpaca and Shetland. So if you want to see, feels nice. Alpaca and Shetland, 50% each. Utopia Fiber Shop. Basically, what one would expect you to Some really interesting looking wheels up there, huh? This is, uh, we're still in the east of the two buildings at the Sheep and Wool Festival, looking around at um, all the various things that are for sale here. Just slowly walking through this building and uh, seeing what is for sale, the various kinds of uh, vendors here. There you go, dumber than the average bear. Lost my Judy in here somewhere. There she is. What have you found? What is formal? The sheep. Oh, okay. <laughs> A breed of sheep. favorite spots, the Jensen spinning wheels, because she's got a Jensen. Rusty bins, is it? Knock somebody on the head with one of them. Here's the big wheel that you need in the back, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I can back away enough to see this room, or this wheel. Big high standing one. Neat colors of stuff. Got that sweater.
Chapman Wool and Gray and Moritz. Light Gray. Multicolor. The colors on some of this. Fiber that's for sale. Spin some interesting looking yarns out of that stuff. anyone needs new racing brooms this year uh, I don't know is that a Nimbus 2000 or something of that ilk and some whisk brooms too but that, uh, that long one really looks like a racing broom check out these colors Interesting colors. There's a carding machine from Carter if you ever wanted one. Huh? Interesting colors. Got these variegated. Yarns by design. This is one of the places that we've gone because it's near us. Go out of wind up all the yarn. He's got it on a, a lazy Susan base. And there's colors in this yarn. This is interlacements. The nice yeah. colors. Yeah, she's a hand dyer right across the row, the row there. But these are mammoth skeins. They're about twice the size of the usual skein. Yeah. Big, <laughs> for sure. I went to the area called Susan's Fiber Shop. We stopped at her place once. So, a guy using a drop spindle.
give you more color to this. of a, some roving for doing the spinning and of course there he is again there's a number of spinning wheels 